Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojo. And today I have a top 10 list. Now I know it's not really Christmas uh, festive here, but it is uh, related to the topic of the holiday season. So I want to give you my top 10 gift ideas for geeks. Uh, you know, anybody who's tech savvy, anybody who enjoys electronics and all of that, uh, 10 gifts I think you can give uh, to any, you know, geek, nerd, however you want to, you know, anybody who is a technology enthusiast in general uh, that they would enjoy. I want to go a little bit of detail here, talk about specific products or specific categories because I broke them into top 10 kind of uh, categories uh, and a little bit of, uh, you know, extra about stuff you can get them within that category. For example, no, uh, this is in really no list of order from 1 to 10, just kind of a... A whole list here as my poster falls down in the background. Anyways, let's go off with number one. Number one uh, is external hard drives. External hard drives, I uh, realize, is something that, uh, you know, you can never really have too much extra storage here. I actually just got a new, I have a new MyBook right here sitting here. It's still in this package. This is a 2 terabyte I got on uh, Black Friday, and I was just using this earlier for another video. Uh, this is a USB 3.0, and it went for like 90 bucks, nearly, you know, nearly, not even 100 bucks, but, um, yeah, uh, you can get, uh, you know, these desktop drives, you can get the portable drives that are like, uh, I think I have one right here, sitting here, yeah, so the size of the these ones right here, let me just unplug it, uh, these external hard drives as well are like nearly 60 bucks, 70 bucks, really, really cheap, you can get up to a terabyte, two terabytes in those little portable ones, um, really, really great deal, so Western Digital Drives, that's one of my main brands I always go for, you can also get uh, I'm going to post a picture of these Drobos. Drobos are also a great brand. The Apple Time Capsule is even something that's kind of a multifunctional device, a little bit more expensive, but uh, it does a little great job too, and it kind of uh, obviously ties in with the Macs and stuff like that. So uh, external hard drives, always a great thing to give for the holidays. Uh, iPods. iPods are a, uh, you know, a great, great gift no matter, you know, whoever the, uh, uh, the you know recipient is because you, you can always use an iPod I guess even if you have one you can go for a new iPod there's always a you know if they have an iPod Nano maybe you want to upgrade to iPod Touch or anything like that and there's always uh, you know a need I guess for MP3 players and just because music is so popular now I mean obviously you can go out there for like an iPhone or something like that which is an all-in-one device um, but you know just check out what iPod they have maybe they need it for a specific need, and maybe they need a shuffle for, you know, sports needs or anything like that, sport events, something more portable. I mean, obviously, if they have, like, an iPhone or an iPod Touch, maybe they won't need, you know, a new iPod. But uh, it's always a great gift if you're looking to give somebody uh, a gift, a technology gift, and you don't really know what to get them. iPods are usually uh, standard gifts. You can get them engraved and all of that, too. Um, you know, Nanos, Touches, all those. And, um... All right, so moving on, and an airplane just flew over the house here. So moving on, accessories. Now this is a category on its own from skins to cases to stands, all of that. I really don't have a great example of this because my iPhone right now is actually running naked. I do have a case for it somewhere in here, but you know, any any skin will do, any case, rubber case, you know, hard case. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different cases you can get. Uh, there's colorful ones, there's, you know, simple ones, metallic ones. All these great sort of cases you can get for iPhones, iPods, whatever you know device they have. There's usually a case for laptops. They have great laptop skins. Uh, you know whether you want them to be like again a hard shell or you know something like leather. You can get them a carrying bag. Always something that's appreciative because uh, it keeps your you know electronics safe. Uh, even you know simple things like screen protectors go a long way. So you know anything that sort they fit all sorts of electronics from laptops, iPods, tablets. Uh, even you can get computer screen like. Uh, I laptop screen uh, protectors, all that stuff. So yeah, accessories. Moving on, uh, number four. Another thing I really don't. I guess I do have them here, but uh, you know, just simple things like batteries. Even uh, that's something I notice a lot of stuff. If you have a lot of electronics like mouses or mice's uh, keyboards that require batteries, and you know, get them a pair of batteries. But I would even go farther to say, get them a pair of uh, rechargeable batteries because those can go a long way. Uh, you know, there's a lot of online sites you can get rechargeable batteries. You can go to the store and get rechargeable batteries. Um, and now our chopper wants to fly over when we're flying, uh, we're playing this video. Alright, back on subject here. Batteries, um, you can get, like I said, they're, they're chargeable ones. There's ones you can plug in, like they have a USB cap, so you can plug it into the computer to charge. Uh, or you can just plug into an AC unit. Anything like that. I think rechargeable batteries go a long way. Also, notable mentions, if you are a, uh, if you have a Mac user and they use a Magic Mouse, there's something called a Mophie, or, yeah, Mophie. I believe, uh, charger, or, not Mofi, sorry, I'm getting that confused, Moby, is it Moby? I believe it's Moby. Charger, I may be getting that wrong. Anyways, I'll put a picture up of that. Uh, I'm hopefully getting one of those for review, so you'll hopefully see a review of that soon. Uh, just a wireless charger that you can dock your Magic Mouse on and it automatically charges. 
Uh, on the other hand, as I was talking about earlier, Mophie is a great rechargeable battery packs for, I think they have some for Blackberry, mainly iPhone, some other devices where it's a, it acts as an iPhone case, but it also charges your iPod or iPhone or iPod Touch, whatever, so you have extra battery life while you're on the go. Also, really, really, really great uh, energy alternatives, you know, uh, saving energy, saving battery life is always an important thing for geeks alike. Um, gift cards, that's the next one. Gift cards are just something universally you can always give if you really just don't know what to give, you don't know what that person wants. Gift cards are always a great solution. I mean, you know, who's going to deny money, uh, which is basically like giving money. Um, you can give them specific places, like there's a lot of iTunes gift cards, there's Amazon gift cards, there's Think Geek gift cards, all great solutions. All right. Uh, so that was seriously the third airplane that just flew over my house during the recording of this video. Anyways, gift cards, like I said, Think Geek is a great site for uh, geeks alike. Obviously, there's a lot of great electronics on there, so you can get them a gift card to that. So if you don't really know what they want, they can kind of choose on their own. Uh, like I said, Amazon gift cards, uh, iTunes gift cards are always, you know, really, really great things that anybody can use by apps or music, whatever it may be. Uh, moving on, games. Games is kind of just universal. I mean, games are obviously, you know, if you have a gamer or if you have a, uh, you know, the person you're giving the gift to uh, plays any sort of console gaming, PC gaming, uh, you know, there's a lot of new titles out right now. You know, the popular ones are Battlefield 3, Skyrim, uh, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Dark Souls is another pretty popular one right now. So, I mean, a lot of, you know, new title games, all those uh, uh, big titles are coming out right now. Always, you know, Probably there'll be a good deal on them during the holiday season, so something to take advantage of. I know, you know, just so many new games always coming out from Assassin's Creed. I know that one's new. Uh, just really, whatever, when the new games are, I'm sure they'll enjoy. So if you don't really, uh, you can buy it for any console. Like I said, you can get them an Xbox game, PS3, uh, PC. Usually Steam has a great offer if you have a PC gamer. Uh, even if you uh, head over to Steam, they usually have great bundles on games for really cheap. And so you can get the multiple games if you like. Alright, uh, moving on, tablets, and I actually have my tablet, my iPad sitting back here on the stand. This is my first generation iPad, uh, still in pretty good condition, you can see I think it has a little dent, if you can see right there in the light. Um, other than that, still in good condition, I never really opted for the iPad 2, but um, you know, maybe it's time if you have a youth, for, uh, for whoever you're giving the gift to again, recipient, has an iPad 2 or iPad 1, and actually I would probably recommend waiting if you have an iPad 2 or if they have an iPad 1 and... Because uh, there's rumors about iPad 3 coming out uh, in the you know following months, so I mean you can always upgrade them if they have no tablet at all. Always a great choice um, if you're you know if they're looking for something to play with. If you know they love their iPod Touch and they want something bigger, uh, and just you know something for great for school even or you know taking on the go. Uh, if, you know tablet is a very uh, I guess it's a market that you can't really determine whether or not somebody and there goes the poster now uh, needs a tablet. Um, but yeah, so, um, iPad's always a great option, uh, Android users out there, there's new ones like the Transformer, I know, the Samsung Galaxy Tab, all of these are great solutions for a geek, uh, you know, whoever, you know, they don't have a tablet or you just want to get them a new, you know, electronic device to have in the household. Android tablets, uh, obviously the Apple tablet is very famous right now, the iPad, iPad 2 is the latest one. Um, yeah, so tablet's always a great, great thing to get for a, uh, geek, and again, that's more on the upscale of a bigger gift. Uh, moving on, this is, as I go down here, these are more bigger gifts. Uh, cameras. Cameras are a great thing to get also always for a geek. Uh, whether it's a digital camera or a more professional camera, high-end. Uh, even things like if you're looking to get them, again, an all-in-one device. iPhone 4 even does really, really, 4S I should say, does really great video. Uh, the iPad 2 does video. Um, if you're looking for more camcorder-like, if they're more used to using camcorders, uh, I like the Averio series. I, I own an Averio myself, that's JVC. Uh, Sony makes some really, really great cameras, um, HD cameras, uh, and more portable cameras, the PlaySport by Kodak is a really great series, more on the professional end, you know, uh, there's the T3i, the D700, all really great cameras that I'll post up here, uh, or, you know, that's more on the high scale of a pricey gift, but definitely cameras are always a great thing to get, whether it's a point and shoot or a video camera or a camcorder. Audio, speakers, um, you know, speakers, iPod docks, all of that stuff, always a great thing to get as well. Uh, I have an iPod dock over there. I have two iPod docks. Um, I just got new speakers, as you can see right here, the premium desktop. These, are, Those are the M-Audio speakers. Uh, I have a 5.1 surround sound, as you can see there, the Logitech's. You know, whether you want to get them speakers, I'll post some pictures of Logitech ones. They're really great models here. iPod docks are really great. Bose is more of an expensive brand. You can go for that. Uh, I love makes, you know, really basic docks, uh, basic to higher end docks. Um, like I said, M Audio is a good brand. Uh, headphone wise, headphones. Uh, Sony makes some pretty decent headphones, you know, just cheap ones. The Apple earbuds are always cheap ones, you know, if you want to go for just a 
uh, basic pair of headphones. And you can go more high up. Uh, Audio Technica makes some really, really great audio products. Obviously, like I said, Bose. The Beats are a very famous brand uh, in terms of audio. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of different brands out there. There's Behringer, like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Audio Technica, a whole bunch of different ones. Sennheiser, tons of audio brands you can choose from in terms of headphones. Uh, and last but not least, uh, again, more of a bigger tech uh, purchase or tech gift, uh, laptops. Laptops are always a great thing. Um, and I actually have the MacBook Air here, which we'll be seeing in a future video. Uh, we have a video on this about the uh, repair they did for this one. So this is the MacBook Air. Uh, this is a late 2008 model, so this is just an older one. But, you know, uh, there's a lot of great laptops out there. Obviously, the MacBook Air is more for a specific category of ultra-portable machines. You know, a college kid, college student, MacBook Airs will probably do them fine. Uh, MacBook Pro is obviously another big popular market out there. But, you know, if they're not a PC user, um, the Samsung 7 series is a really, really popular uh, laptop that kind of rivals the MacBook Pro, um, uh, so that's a more of a Windows-based machine. The Asus Triple E PCs are also really great for a netbook if you want to get them something really, really portable, just something simple to use, browse the internet, check email. The Asus Triple E PC, uh, I have a specific model they're going to put up here, uh, one of the ones I saw has got the highest rating so far. Uh, also, if they're a gamer, you know, if they're a gamer they want something portable, the Alienware brand is also a very, very famous gaming brand. I know Dell does some gaming laptops, so I'm going to be posting all of those here as well. So with that, guys, that concludes my top 10 gift ideas for geeks this holiday season. I look forward to more some holiday videos coming out soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the website at digitaldojos.com for more tech news, reviews, tips, and you can read the full post uh, with details about this video over at digitaldojos.com. Please take your time, guys, to like the video, comment with your feedback, what you guys think you guys uh, would give to a geek uh, for Christmas or the holidays, whatever you celebrate. And with that, guys, hope you guys have a good holidays. Uh, again, more videos coming up. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.